Morning All Saints, it's uh, Dave here with your thought for the day for this uh, Friday before Pentecost. Um, if you tuned in last week, uh, some years ago I did a study on the names of God and how at particular points, this in scripture you'll find that at particular points when Israel came up, when God's people came up against a particular challenge, and the Lord intervened, he also introduced himself to them uh, with a new name. And names are important, are they? And because they tell us something of the person. Well, the name today comes uh, is Jehovah Rafi, which means I am the Lord who heals you. And it's taken out of a great passage in Exodus chapter 15, and verse 26. And uh, it's the second of these names, the compound names of Jehovah. And it's, um, it's an intriguing name because um, of the way that God introduces himself as, it, as, as Jehovah Rafi. So the name was given during one of Israel's earliest experiences in the wilderness when downcast, discouraged, filled with bitter disappointment, they suffered at the waters of Marah. They discovered, and this is where the very place they discovered a new and comforting characteristic of God, which is true for us today, where God reveals himself to them and he says, I am the Lord who heals you. Now, next to sin, uh, nothing has taken more toll on people and their happiness and their ability to, to live than illness and disease. And it may be that as you hear this today, your body is racked with pain and, or you're weighed down with some uh, affliction. And here's the encouragement, and especially in a time like this when we're faced with such uncertainty about this pandemic and about everything going on, is that God has revealed himself to us and what he's like. And what he's like is that he's the God who intervenes and he's the God who heals. He is Jehovah Rafi. And so even in those places of pain or those, those places of affliction, we know that we have a God who cares so much that he is willing to step in and bring healing. Sometimes when we pray for healing, things happen and people are healed. When we never pray for healing, uh, well, nothing happens. Uh, a friend of mine said uh, that, you know, Jesus is always at the right hand of the Father and in interceding for us. And that is a comforting thought. But when we pray with the Spirit, he prays with us. So we kind of have to give him some material to work with. And I like that. And the encouragement we find in Scripture is that to people who are sick and are in need of God's healing, uh, the pressure to have faith is never placed on them. Um, but Jesus always looks to those around the person and engages them on their call to pray and to believe. And so I wanna encourage you that you, if you are in a place of, of uh, difficulty in terms of your health, that what is God like? He's, he's a God that's in its very character to bring healing. And we can stop and take a moment, be really thankful to the Lord for um, people who are in the medical profession, as people who are modern day healers. Uh, we can also give thanks to those who are working tirelessly uh, during this pandemic um, to serve in, in various ways. Um, and it's it's great to be thankful because as we are thankful and give thanks to him, we can realize that um, he is the God who heals. And he has taught and led others to take part in his healing work. And one of the great um, challenges and the great honors of the church is to come alongside those who are, are in difficulty physically, emotionally spiritually and to pray for healing. It's a challenge because um, we need to enter in and be compassionate and also have our eyes fixed on him. And it's a mystery, isn't it? We don't know 
um, why some prayers are answered in, in, in really quick, wonderful ways and others take time. And instead of focusing on the mystery as why it works sometimes and why it doesn't, I find it much help, much better to focus on what I know him to be like. And we know him to be the God who heals. So there you are, thought for the day. We have a God who's revealed himself to us as the God who heals Jehovah Rafi. And I encourage you to go about the day to pray for those in the medical profession to pray for those you know who are sick, maybe your neighbors, and also to lift up yourself to him if there's an area where you need healing. Every blessing to you. We're so looking forward to seeing you on Sunday for Pentecost with the uh, Take and Eat drive through uh, So until then, friends, every blessing, and we're praying for you. Talk to you soon.